Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. On the way to the boss here. Behold the mirror, O oh beings of flesh and blood! Behold the magnificent image of Lord Rapthorn, locked in his titanic struggle to bring darkness to the world! Long ago, he created the world of darkness by filling the ground with the bodies of those who failed to obey him. That's pretty dark. Alright, so uh, we're going down uh, to fight the boss of the Dark Ruins. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fork the save files here. And uh, I'm going to play the main file, which you're going to watch, which is going to be this file right here. We'll have all of my stuff in it, like the double monster team, crazy weapons stuff. And the file that, like, will fork off, which you can select, um, I'm going to try to fight this boss with just the stuff I would have had without rank B. So you can see what it would have looked like. I mean, I'm not, you know, because I don't expect you to do the same stuff I, like, you know, to go through all the trouble of beating the monster arena early, because it's hard. So, uh... We will be, uh, heading out of here. Uh, and apparently fighting enemies. I'm not showing this. Alright, we'll heal everybody. And then, this is gonna be a pretty simple battle, I think, with the stuff we have. So, um, again, you can, you can watch the alternate file if you want and see what it would look like without. I don't expect to win that battle. So, uh, but you'll see kind of the amount of trouble. I'm going to take the, I'm going to unequip the weapons and everything, so. So it'll be crazy. So, here's our boss of the Dark Ruins. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, this is too early for it to be Dual Magus. But it is! There he is! It's Dual Magus! Here he is! You ain't gonna slip away this time. Put him up, Dol Magus. Put him up. There's nowhere for you to run now. We've got you cornered. We do logically have him cornered. I made a promise to my brother. You'll pay for what you did. Yeah. Everybody tell him before we fight. So, wait a minute. Oh, okay. We okay, we actually have to move in over here. Big deal. This is very Final Fantasy X looking to me. Hmm, well, well. What persistent fools coming after me in here? If I'm not mistaken, you're the very same servants of Trode I had the displeasure of meeting at Mayala Abbey. Yeah. So, you think you can defeat me and lift your master's curse? That's the plan. <laughs> what admirable loyalty. But alas, I am not receiving visitors at present. Throw stuff at him! I'm healing. This magic is so overwhelming that my body can hardly contain it. Such is its power. Okay. A small price to pay for obtaining such unimaginable might. Anyway, you won't be staying long, will you? No, we're leaving. We just wanted to borrow a cup of sugar. Such a pity. <laughs> Come on, Jeffrey Rush. You won't be able to fulfill your master's wish. But at least you shall fulfill your own destiny to die at my hand. No! Okay. Anyway. So, this is a, a rough boss. I'm assuming the stuff we got from beating the monster rank early is going to make this really easy. So, at least that's what I hear. I've never played past beating the monster arena early. The one time I did it, um, I just kind of kept a save file so I could show you guys that I had done it. All right, uh, um, I think we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna go at this guy with full power right away. You know, it, it doesn't make any sense to do anything else. We might as well unload on him. He's gonna split the three guys, so. Oh, come on! Well, maybe we can't hit him until he splits into three guys. Oh, no, there we go. Blah! There we go. 
three guys. I mean, this is kind of, it is kind of ridiculous. Like, fighting this guy with the monster team. <laughs> what I will do in the forked save file, in case anybody wants to know, although obviously you're not watching it if you're watching this, is um, I'll, I'll, I'll put up my original monster team with Hexilla and Talos and Dumb King or something. Or Blade Wolf or something. And, like, I'll run with that. So I can summon them. Because I'd probably use the monster team anyway. Come on, get this guy. Kill him before we even have to do anything. Oh, nice! We got one of them. Alright. Hey! Hey! All right. Multi thrust. Not all on the guy we're trying to kill, too. I mean, this is—it's just ridiculous. Like, he doesn't. Oh my god! Yeah, this is gonna be really easy. Cause now there's only one of him. He attacks twice a turn. So like having four of him. Or three of him is a big problem. It gives him like four attacks, I think. So now that we're down to one, um, I guess we can use our spear. And uh, attack him with that. And we don't really need to kind of, I mean, we can have, uh, we can have Jessica like, you know, cast spells and such. Try to talk like King Clint Eastwood and Unforgiven. Um, oh, I don't know now. Like, I guess Yangus, but... I mean, we both have overpowered weapons at this point. Alright, that'll put this in decent shape. Oh, I like that! I didn't realize that the, uh... The hero spear healed you when you hit stuff with it. That's like, Look at Yangus! Oh my god! Oh, he's oomphed. That's right. Okay. Uh, we could call the second team because, well, you'll see. We'll go through it. This will be, by the way, like, again, um, well, well and, you know, we can, and if you watch the alternate file, I'll probably talk a little bit more about strategy because there isn't, there isn't going to be a lot of strategy if we're kind of this powerful. Like, it basically the strategy is act like a bulldozer and run this guy over. So that's all special effects on the party thing. Like, that removes oomphs. It removes tension if you're, um, if you're psyching up. So keep that in mind that, uh, that's going to be a feature of a lot of bosses from here on out. Is that they can do an ability and take all special effects off you. It's kind of a pain. Not a, not a, not a good thing. <laughs> like, not a good thing. It's not a good thing the way that they can beat you up. I guess it's better than them attacking, I suppose. Yo! Later we will have bosses that psych up and then do a thin air attack like that. And that is devastating. Okay. I don't really see. I mean, our our strategy is working pretty good. He's not. He's not uh. Doing anything crazy. Just to make sure he doesn't kill Angelo. That would not be as devastating now as it would have been. Now that our main character also has Zing. I mean, there is a point in this game where only one of your characters has a resurrection ability. So, and I've got a lot of healing stuff on my guys now. Like I took all of my healing stuff and put it in people's inventories, um, off camera. Just so you know. And uh, I think I gave the Yagdraza leaf to Yangus. Because I figured he was one of the least likely people to die. I mean, between him and Jessica, basically. Because, like, Switch and Angelo have Zing. So between him and Jessica, I thought he was the more reliable resurrect from the dead person. 
in a regular fight against this guy, um, I would ex expect to lose Jessica. We may lose Jessica, actually. There's not a lot of ways in this game, uh, except for overleveling, to get her in good position for this fight. She's just, this fight is set up to be tough for everybody. So as the weakest person, it's especially tough for her. I do like the dual Magus music. It's very understated. It's very just c calming and uh, which actually is really funny because if you uh, again without all this cra oh we can't sap him without all this crap we're doing like this is a pretty tense fight. It's pretty scary. Like along the idea that you know there's well again. Again, we're going to do that. We're going to run that as an alternate file so that, like, you guys can see it. It'll it'll make sense. I like doing that. I like forking the files. I don't know. I like showing different possibilities in RPGs when I can. It makes for an interesting game, I guess. My big worry is that this stuff's going to make us so powerful that we're going to end up underleveled later on. But if that happens, we'll have plenty of better places to grind. Specifically, I'm thinking of uh, some of the, the later stuff. Uh, just think that, just know that I have something in mind that's making me worry about that. I can't believe he's not dead yet. Like, we've been hammering on him. Like, we're all staying alive. This guy should. Ow! 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 Staying alive. So. You can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a warm man. No time to talk. Oh. <laughs> Yeesh. Sorry, <laughs> I've been, I've actually been listening to that song um, occasionally, so it's not normally my thing, but there's something about the Bee Gees falsetto that like, uh, <laughs> and there's a great YouTube video uh, for that song of just them like walking down the street and like hanging out these buildings, like singing that song. Oh man. It's alright. It's okay, I live to see another day. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, Domagus has a, like, Domagus will laugh sometimes, and it takes up one of his turns, which is just fantastic. It's just like, it's such a relief if you're, you know, if somebody's close to dying, and you're like, oh, no, no, don't no, hit, you know, and then he just laughs, and you're like, oh, jeez. <laughs> like, never mind. All right. We're done singing disco stuff. Actually, that's the only, like, disco song thing I would ever think of ever belting out during <laughs> an LP. There's not... Because, like, I don't know a lot of, you know... There we go! All right. Ah. 4,300 experience. That's awesome. All right. And Angelo gets a level up. What does he get? Five skill points. Oh, wait, I wanted to put that in Charisma. Ugh. Son of a bitch. And this is the file we're going to run through afterwards, so I'm stuck with that. <laughs> Feisty. You surprise me. I never imagined you could squirm for so long. Oh, you'd be surprised how long we can squirm. Had I not been healing, I would have crushed you in an instant. Whatever you say. But never mind. It is time we brought this little show to an end. Okay. What a pity. Let's do that. What a pity it will be to finally say goodbye. Yeah, you know, we kind of like you too. Why don't we just go hang out? Why don't you just turn Trode back and we'll go hang out somewhere. Have some coffee. My true power. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> tastes like strawberry. <laughs> you will ride in the unbearable agony. Okay. Look at that. That's a pretty cool effect. I like that. Hmm.
I like the change in his expression. Ha ha! You can't do that to what? us. Why isn't it working? What kind of trickery is this? What kind indeed? Ha! Ah, you leave me no choice. Now you will face my true might. All right. Okay, we are probably not going to get this into one video. So, uh, once we see his true form, which, by the way, is awesome, uh, I will be putting a cut in here, and, uh, uh, then we'll continue from there. That's what I was trying to say. We're gonna continue from there. Ugh. I love that. He looks amazing. That's so great. So creepy. All right, everybody. You worthless fools, prepare to be crushed. You will never pester me again. Bye, everybody.